Hey guys, welcome to Atari Series 7. Today reviewing this, which is the DC Multiverse Justice League Walmart exclusive Batman. So my Walmart currently has this on sale for $9. So, you know, I thought, why not pick it up? Uh, up here we have the Justice League logo with all their little logos at the top. It's cool. We have DC Multiverse. Nice clear view of Batman and Bugs. Justice League Batman written there. A picture of him. On this side we have artwork of Batman and a bio. And then on the back we have Cyborg and, you know, just everything that's included and the other stuff. So yeah, let's open this up. So, um, with the butter boxes, they're not completely made. They're really nicely detailed, but they're kind of empty on each side. So, I wonder if the reason why with Cyborg you get three more of them is, like, that's how you complete these. Um, that's a little weird. But I did not realize that at first. Either way, that's kind of cool, but also a little weird. So, I like the designs on the face. I believe this is the same head from the, um... Uh, first Batman, the Superman multiverse Batman, but either way, it's really cool. I love the designs on his suit. It's like dark black, and it mixes in with gray, and you can see some armor here, and the bat symbol is really cool. I also love his utility belt. They did a really nice job with that with the gold and kind of like the weathered paint. It looks really neat. There's also some gold on his arms, like with the little bat wings over here. And then you can see the painted gold knuckles, which are cool. Really, really good job with that. And then also uh, down at the feet, it's kind of like more of the gray, and there's some texture. And the boots are black, uh, black and gold. And the cape actually reminds me of the DC Multiverse 3.75 inch Arkham Batman, because it's got that letter fill on this side, and I really like that. That's a nice material. And it's kind of cloth on this side, but it's got the letter one on this one, and it just makes it look so cool. I really like when they use the letter style capes. I don't think they've used that in a while, so it's really nice to see that come back. But um, yeah, in terms of articulation, there's a 360 the head, you can look up and down, 360 at the arms, you swing out the shoulder, 360 at the side, uh, single joint elbows, but it's very stiff, but they do rotate as well, and then there's a 360 at the wrist, there's a 360 at the torso, there's an ab crunch, the legs come forwards, backwards, and outwards. There's a 360 at the thigh, again, kind of stiff. And there's single jointed knees, and the feet also move up and down. So pretty good in terms of articulation and accessories, and I really like the details, and it's definitely really cool. Um, like I said, my Walmart has this on clearance for $9, a lot of Walmarts are. So definitely be looking there if you didn't pick this up when it came out for Justice Week last year. It's a really good action figure, and uh, really cool. Thanks for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.